students we have discussed the basic bridge in previous video which is like this and its balance condition is of this type if we take the components z1 z2 z3 and z4 this way then it is known as owens bridge this is detector d and it is generally either a pair of headphones or null detector and this is an ac source this bridge is used to measure self inductance l in terms of a standard capacitance c4 and two resistances r1 and r3 here we assume that condensers are without losses and all the resistances are perfectly non reactive if we compare the components of the arms of this oven series with the components of the respective arms of this basic series then they are z1 equal to r1 plus j omega l z2 equal to r2 plus 1 upon j omega c2 z3 equal to r3 and z4 equal to 1 upon j omega c4 using bridge balance condition that is z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 we have z1 that is r1 plus j omega l into z4 that is 1 upon j omega c4 equals to z2 that is r2 plus 1 upon j omega c2 into z3 that is r3 now by expanding the brackets on both the sides we have r1 upon j omega c4 plus here j omega j omega cancel therefore plus l upon c4 equal to r2 r3 plus r3 upon j omega c2 now equating the real parts of this equation we have l upon c4 equal to r2 r3 and therefore l equal to c4 r2 r3 same equation 1 now equating the imaginary part of this equation we have r1 upon j omega c4 equal to r3 upon j omega c2 here j omega cancel from both the sides and therefore r1 upon c4 equal to r3 upon c2 by rearranging the terms we get c2 upon c4 equal to r3 upon r1 say equation 2 these equations 1 and 2 represent the two conditions required to balance the bridge both the conditions of balance are independent of each other in these equations frequency term that is omega is absent it means this balance condition is independent of frequency they are satisfied by successive adjustment of r1 and r2 these are chosen because each occurs in a one balance condition only here the adjustment of r2 will set this condition one and will not upset this condition two because r2 is not here and the adjustment of r1 will set this condition two and will not upset this condition one because r1 is not here the value of inductance l can be calculated from this equation when the bridge is balanced at the condition of balance the minimum sound is heard in the headphone or there is a maximum separation between the slits of a null detector now we will derive the parameters of the bridge here in this arm ab inductance l and resistance r1 are in series the general formula of the parameter for r l series connections are explained in previous video here for a series r1 l connection the impedance angle theta is written as tan theta equal to omega l upon r1 substituting the value of l from this equation and r1 from this equation we get tan theta equal to omega c4 r2 r3 upon r3 c4 by c2 simplifying it we get tan theta equal to omega c2 c4 r2 r3 upon r3 c4 this c4 c4 cancel and r3 r3 cancel 
therefore tan theta equal to omega c2 r2 and hence theta equal to tan inverse omega c2 r2 this is the impedance angle now power factor cos theta for r1 l series circuit the power factor is defined as cos theta equal to r1 upon r1 plus j omega l putting the values of r1 and l from these equations we have cos theta equal to r3 c4 upon c2 upon r3 c4 by c2 plus j omega c4 r2 r3 by simplifying we get cos theta equal to r3 c4 upon r3 c4 plus j omega c2 c4 r2 r3 taking r3 c4 common from denominator therefore we get cos theta equal to this one this r3 c4 cancel with this r3 c4 and therefore we get cos theta equal to 1 upon 1 plus j omega c2 r2 this is the power factor for r1 l series connection now quality factor q for r1 l series connection it is defined as q equal to omega l upon r1 putting the value of l and r1 from equation 1 and 2 respectively we get q equal to omega c4 r2 r3 upon r3 c4 by c2 by simplifying we get q equal to omega c2 c4 r2 r3 upon r3 c4 this c4 c4 cancel and r3 r3 cancel therefore q equal to omega c2 r2 you may found that quality factor directly proportional to capacitance therefore for high quality factor we have to choose large capacitance but if c is large it is large in size and high in cost so we will use this bridge for low and medium quality factor only next dissipation factor df for r1 l series connection it is defined as df equal to r1 upon omega l and which is equal to 1 upon q so it is calculated by putting the value of r1 and l from equation this and this or directly from quality factor so we get df equal to 1 upon q that is 1 upon omega c2 r2 that's all in next video we will discuss about maxwell's lc bridge